Hey, what's going on sports fans? It's your boy Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Make sure you press that subscribe button, press that bell so you get notifications on all the videos. Don't miss all the greatness going down on this channel. And follow me on all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and all that good jazz. Today I come to you with another NBA breakdown. Today we are breaking down the Oklahoma City Thunder versus New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans came out with a 118-114 victory in a very entertaining game, which was headlined by Anthony Davis. What more can you say about this guy? He literally can do everything on the basketball court. You want to post him up and have him down there on the block, he can do that. Get your hooks over both shoulders, fadeaways. You want to put him in the mid post, he can jab you one dribble step back in your face. You want to pick and roll, he's pretty much unstoppable on the pick and roll. Pick and pop, he can hit the three. You pick and pop to the three, you close out real fast. All right, pump fake, I'm by you, and I'm going to yam on you. You want to stop me from yamming on you? Okay, I got touch too, I come with a little floater. And that's how you end up with 44 points in the game because you're just simply unstoppable. 18 rebounds as well, just a beast. And when he has a stat line like this, people like to say, Oh, he doesn't have any help. That's not true. Julius Randle with 22 points today. And he still scores 22 points, and we know he can't go right. Like, that's the crazy part. He comes in normally off the bench when the Pelicans are healthy. Comes off the bench, gets you all these points, just being a straight bowling ball. And you can't stop him. Absolute beast. He's definitely in the six-man-of-the-year conversation. Drew Holiday. One of the best two-way players in the game. Excellent defender. Like, one of the... He's up there when you talk about top perimeter defenders in the game. Drew Holiday is up there. Can't sleep on him. Scored 20 points. Gets you 10 assists in this game. Playing excellent defense. So Anthony Davis has help. Now, does he have championship level help? No. But when you have a team like Golden State with, you know, right now, currently four of the top 20 players in the league, you get DeMarcus Cousins back, five of the top 20 players in the league, it's pretty much impossible to match that. You're asking your GM to do the impossible to get that much help. But the Pelicans do have good help on that team. And you think about the players they are missing tonight. Nikola Miritic, somebody who can get you 20 points a game, shooting threes, mid-range. A decent defender as well, Etuan Moore, shooting 44% from the three-point line this year. He can get you 12 to 16 points a game. Good defender as well. Alfred Payton, pretty good defender. Good assist man, somebody who's playing really well in Al in Alvin Gentry's system, excuse me, this season before he broke his pinky. So they're missing 60% of their starting lineup. Those three players are starters. Because normally the Pelicans want to start Peyton, you want to start Drew Holiday, you want to have Etuan Moore, Miritich, and Anthony Davis, Randall as your sixth man. That would be the typical lineup. But with those three guys missing, you had to put Solomon Hill in the starting lineup tonight. So you had to have Diallo, who's normally deep on the bench, getting a lot of, a lot of minutes tonight. So with those players missing, to get this victory over the Thunder is very big. Now you look at the Thunder, who came into this game playing very well, very good on defense. They just struggled from a three-point line. You look at Russell Westbrook's stat line, for example. Looks pretty good. But then you dig deeper into it, you see that he was 2% from the three-point line. One of those three-pointers came with less than 10 seconds left in the game, and they had time enough on the shot clock to get a better shot. But he still believes in himself as that main guy. You're not a good three-point shooter, Russ. You do everything well, but you're not a good three-point shooter. Stop doing it. So he shoots two for seven. You got Dennis Stroder shooting four for 11, which isn't horrible, but it's just a lot of three-pointers to shoot between your two point guards there. Paul George has been balling out of his mind this year. 25 points tonight. Good on both ends. He's one of the reasons that the Thunder have one of the best records in the NBA right now. So for both of these teams, I think the, Dun the Thunder definitely took a bad loss tonight to a team that's missing, like I said, three-fifths of their starting lineup. The Pelicans have to take this win and go forward with momentum. They're now at 500 at 15 and 15. Take this going forward. Make sure that you propel yourself as you get healthy. Anthony Davis, continue to ball like this. Pelicans can be dangerous in the playoffs. 
think both these teams will be dangerous until they meet up against Golden State if one of them does that. But thank you for watching another NBA breakdown with your boy Damian Adams. Subscribe to The Real Deal with Damian Adams. And until next time, go real or go home.